Hey, what's up, everybody? Today we have another water comparison video. We have two huge bottles of water. These are each one gallon, and these are both from the same company. These are both from a company called Tyler Mountain. This is Tyler Mountain Spring Water. This was a dollar sixty-nine, and this is Tyler Mountain Distilled Water. This was a dollar twenty-nine. I have a prediction. I predict that this is going to be the winner. Just because typically I prefer uh, spring waters over distilled, and typically I prefer bottles with a tip, uh, thicker plastic over these really um, cheap ones. Th I carried this home in my backpack, and this was like a big round ball because it was like squished together just, just in my backpack alone. I, I don't really like these bottles that much, even though they're cheaper. Okay, so in my last water comparison video, I talked about how I'm running out of waters to review. That's kind of true, but I found this new place, this new store. It's called East End Food Co-op. If you look right there, I have like 12 different waters that I got from this one store. And um, that includes these also. It's like a Whole Foods type of store, East End Food Co-op. It's all really expensive. like. I think one of those was almost four dollars just for one bottle, um, but anyway, I've got more waters to review now, and so <clears throat> there's not much to say about these bottles. I couldn't even find like a website for this company. Um, I found a YouTube video which said that the bottles were bottled in Monroeville, but the bottle itself says this one says it's from Michigan. And this one says it's from a municipal water supply in Reading, PA. It says it's from Mahalberg Township Municipal Water Water Authority, but that's in Reading, PA. And the distilled water says it uses micron filtration, ozonation, and a UV filter. I've got a little bit of a cold. So, I hope this doesn't really distort my, uh, my review here very much, but my taste buds are still working fine, so I think we're, we're good to go. Let's open these up and uh, see which one tastes better. Of course, that one's easier to open. <laughs> An interesting thing is, they both say, do not refill. Well, guess what, Tyler Mountain? If I feel like refilling them, I'm going to refill them. But um, I'm probably not going to come even close to finishing these, because um, it's two gallons. That's a ton of water. And also, I need to save some for whichever makes it to round two. So, here we go. a little bit. It's, it's, uh, seems like average. Yeah, this is not, not good. I would say this is below average. I think it's just this cheap plastic. This is this is fine with um with milk. Maybe it's fine with juice, but with water, you just taste more of the plastic. Um, I think that this is actually a better design if you're worried about the environment. Because the, the handle is hollow, and it just uses the water to support the weight. This is like a thick plastic handle, which is kind of cooler, but it's probably, you know, wasting more resources. Yeah, it's, um, <laughs> I usually don't rate, I usually don't rate the waters. I would say this is like a 2 out of 10. This is like a 4 out of 10. Neither of them are great, to be honest. I mean, they're from the state I live in, but I, uh, they're not great. So, thanks for watching. This Tyler Mountain spring water is moving on to round two.